Thank you, Mr. Sinha. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call upon on the dais Mr. Vishwalochan, Pro Chancellor of National University of Studies, to talk about the topic of the advent of higher education in North East. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Vishwalochan. Welcome, sir. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I thank the CCLA team for inviting me at this platform and present my thoughts with most learned educationalists and healthcare professionals present here. And I am happy that uh, today in this summit we have uh, representation from Northeast wherein Mr. Sudhakar Rao has given a lecture, this very impressive uh, presentation this morning and uh, Dr. Alicia Darko, who is the Vice Chancellor of Ikfai University, Meghalaya. Dr. Banavali Sina, whom we have heard just now, the Chairman of Tripura Medical College. Very impressive presentation, sir. And special thanks to Dr. Sandeep Gandhi, uh, the Registrar from Kalinga University, who has given us a very, very impressive presentation about the education scenario in India. I am going to talk here, especially on the Northeast, uh, we have set up a private university at uh, Arunachal Pradesh and today I am going to talk about the challenges and need the advent of higher education in Northeast. Human capital is one of the vital assets of a country and key element of a nation's socio-economic performance. The strength of a nation is reflected by its intellectual capital and skillful citizens. The prosperity of a nation is linked to its human resources. A carefully designed and well-planned education system is key to develop human capital. Formation of knowledge, society is a decisive indicator of development and education is one of the most crucial indices of socio-economic development. Quality of education is significant contributor of social, political, cultural and economic transformation of a country. Higher education remains of vital importance to build knowledge-based society of the 21st century. In the era of evolution and technology development, knowledge and technology still skills are going to play a significant role in shaping the contemporary scenario. India today is considered as the talent pool of the world, having qualified and educated human resource in abundance. The Northeast. I wonder why even after seven decades of independence, the region has not been able to meet the pace of development with other parts of the country, despite of rich biodiversity and ample natural resources. Development of the territory was hampered by inherent difficulties such as inadequate infrastructure, adverse climatic conditions, precipitous landscape, folkloric strains and border clashes. The region was struggling towards attainment of minimal health services and awareness, eradication of drug consumption, problem in youth population and reduction in issue pertaining to higher mortality rates. Higher education in Northeast, I appreciate the mission of the mission of our Honorable Prime Minister Sabka Saad Sabka Vikas came through for us when during his address to the plenary session of Northeastern Council. As Honorable PM said, we are focusing on reducing the isolation of the region by improving all around connectivity through road, rail, telecom and power and waterway sectors. It was then in 2012 when the World Education Mission took up the challenge to the parent body for our university, Arunachal University of Science, took up this challenge to turning this remote region into a hub of quality higher education, human intelligence, Knowledge and Employability Center for establishing the university in a small but serene district of Namsai, Arunachal Pradesh and initiated the moment of spreading knowledge, brilliance, skill, employability, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial propensity and youth development in the territory. Arunachal University established with a belief to impart holistic education to the students in a comprehensive format without any compromises on quality, since its inception, the university has created several laurels in education field and has received appreciations from all sections of the society. Being the extreme northeastern university of India and blessed with the affection of Lord Dhoni, the son, 
the first university to witness the sunrise in India. We are focused to raise the standards of higher education in this region. The US has a mission to equip the youth of Northeast India with all skills of entrepreneurship so as to create an economy that is not only self-contained, self-dependent and self-reliant but also self-sustained for a golden future. AUS in the region since its inception is working hard and has been trying to achieve quality teaching by training young educationalists to deliver the subject through contactualization and deepening the knowledge base. We are determined to merge the remote region of Northeast with the main streamline of employability. The region is now passing through a very crucial stage of societal transformation with complex political economic dynamics. Regional reality has to be united to the need for keeping up with the latest advances in the district. Achieving this objective cannot be done without the strong policy support from the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Further, time has now come for us to apply our mind on ways for facilitating continuous upgradations in education standards in a way faster than the existing process. Arunachal University of Studies in this movement of distinction shall remain dedicated to motto of pursuit of excellence, education with a difference, like education by offering unparalleled exposure to develop its students into holistic human beings, body, mind and soul. The Northeast region of India is now all set to accelerate the advent of higher education with a far-sighted vision, worthy mission and unwavering belief of AUS. Thank you so much.